Oh boy, how I don't I don't know how I can start this video. It's going to be a lot of negative news this week, guys, because there's a lot of negative things going on with video games. But today we're going to be talking about Apex Legends, and sadly, this game that I loved oh so dearly, and I still love it to this day. If they would just put solos in the game mode, I would actually play it. But they still haven't put solos in this game, so I just I don't want to play it. I don't have the time nor the patience to go ahead and play with a bunch of randoms and get my ass beat every single time. I'd prefer to play solos, so I just solely stay off the game. I do not play it, nor do I touch it whatsoever. Maybe that's one of the reasons to why it's failing, but today's video is going to be about how Apex Legends is dying. Now, if you look at this Twitter post that I saw recently, this guy on Twitter went ahead and looked up the search results after two months of each game coming out. So when a game came out and two months prior to the release, these are the search results for these games, Fortnite and Apex Legends. We'll look at Apex Legends first. As you see, it's dropping significantly, and then Fortnite, it is just blowing up, and Fortnite is still blowing up. And I said, you know what, well, maybe the Twitch charts are still a little bit different. And I went over to Twitch today, this is very recent, this is today, the day that this video is being posted, and it's not doing so well compared to Fortnite either. Now, it is doing better than Blackout and Firestorm and everything like that, obviously, but compared to Fortnite, which is really the big deal, I mean, Fortnite is the juggernaut of Battle Royale game modes, and that's what everybody's going to compare their Battle Royale game to, is the biggest Battle Royale out at the moment, Fortnite. And if we're going to compare it, it's it dropped significantly. I remember when Apex Legends for weeks was surpassing Fortnite and completely outbeating it in numbers. Now it's not really like that anymore. And this has been like this for a week, maybe more than a week, months. I don't know. I haven't really been checking Twitch that often. But I know for this past week, the numbers have been low like this. 40,000 seems like it's the average unless you get some more larger uh, streamers to decide to play this game on Twitch. But other than that, I mean, the game just isn't doing that great. Now, I always hear that people are having connection issues or the hit registration is just off with Apex Legends. And it's a few issues here, a few issues there. Things that I didn't really notice while I'm playing the game. Now, they are there for a lot of people, and they were there for me as well, but it just wasn't something that was that noticeable. It's something that didn't really kill off the experience for me, and I still enjoyed the game thoroughly. But I really think is the issue here is, like I said in the beginning of the video, is the solos. Why has this not been implemented into this game yet? Solos is desperately needed in any Battle Royale experience. Battle Royale is a game mode that revolves around teamwork. And when you run into a bunch of randoms and you're forced into squad gameplay, when you are playing as a solo player with a solo mindset, it's not going to work too good. Now, when I hop on and I play solo, well, I can't play solo, I have to play quads, but what I mean by solo is like I'm by myself. I don't have any friends online or anything like that, nobody's playing Apex, so I hop on Apex Legends by myself, and I'm playing with a bunch of randoms. When I play, I have a solo mindset. I have a mindset that I'm not going to interact, I don't feel like talking, I just want to chill and play the game, which causes it to be very hard to get a dub when you can't communicate with your team, and yes, later down the road, it will eventually force me to have to communicate and interact and do all the other team plays and stuff like that whatever things that a lot of solo players don't want to do now let's take it for, out of the box let's say it's not me because if it was me like I said eventually I will finally step up and I'll talk and I'll get the communication going so we can get the dub but a lot of other people are too shy to speak they don't want to talk they don't want to interact They'd rather type or something, but on console, you can't type. You can't do that like it is on PC. So you're pretty much solo. You don't want to talk. You don't want to interact. You just want to play the game, okay? People like that, it's hard to play with, especially when you're playing with other people who want to catch a dub, people who want to win, because communication and battle royale games are key to victory. That's how you win these things, especially when you're playing in duos or quads or, I guess, trios, since that's the only thing you can play in Apex Legends. 
friends. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, not having solos in the game is killing off the whole player base. Like I said, there's still tons more people watching and playing Apex Legends over Blackout and Firestorm combined together. But the fact of the matter is that Apex Legends needs to try to compete with Fortnite, and also it is slowly dying off regardless. Now, this is a Battle Royale specific game. It's not like Call of Duty and Battlefield where you can switch straight back to the multiplayer and that's going to help the game thrive on this is the only game mode they have in apex legends so if the battle royale mode fails apex legend fails as well that's how it's going to be now the solos community might not make up the whole gaming community but it's a huge chunk now if they really wanted to compete with any other battle royale title you know i'm mostly talking about fortnite they should seriously consider putting solos back into the game that is desperately needed to make everybody's experience better and like i said if you don't then all the solos players are just going to go play another game that caters to solos blackout has solos firestorm has solos fortnite has solos pubg has solos every other battle royale game in the world has solos besides your game because you're too stubborn to just let people play it let me tell you something I don't care if all of the, the the heroes are overpowered and everybody chooses lifeline or everybody chooses one or the, the other character. I don't care. The reason I play solos is just to chill, have fun, run around, try to get a bunch of kills and see if I can win the battle royale experience. I don't really care for team play because team play isn't really a big issue in solos because you're playing by yourself. So really, I don't care who people choose as their hero and let alone to that. I don't really think that heroes will really differentiate who's going to win the match. Because even when I'm playing in trios, if you choose a certain amount of heroes, that's not going to determine if you win the game. What determines if you're going to win the game is purely off of gun skill. And that's what I loved so much about Apex Legends, is that they were able to implement these heroes and these special abilities into the game without making the gun skill part of the game completely useless. That's a brilliant idea, but sadly they didn't jump on the act and didn't jump on the train of putting solos into this game quicker. They actually, they actually Actually, this is proof and this is a true fact that they removed the solos and duos from the data of this game so they weren't even they weren't even working on it at a certain point anymore I don't know if they're working on it now but I, as we know right now they're not even considering solos and duos at the moment which is a huge 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 disappointment and I just had to add this into the video as well because I thought this was absolutely absurd is that Apex Legends is still trying to use streamers and YouTubers to market their game that's what their marketing team thinks is the best way to continue to push this game because that's how it got its first initial push no that's how you get a game started when you have a streamer or a youtuber announce that a new popular game is here yes everybody's going to run jump to it and try to play it but now everybody knows about apex legends it's not new to anybody to see this game being talked about or spoken of anymore. You know, everybody has played this game now. Everybody knows what Apex Legends is. It's nothing new to us. So that's not the best marketing way to do it. And that's what they just did with Mr. Beast and Shroud. I thought it was hilarious. Not hilarious because, you know, Apex Legends, that's a good thing that you guys donated all that money. They actually donated $112 thousand dollars to three separate charities that's a great way to do anything in life i i really appreciate that and i highly respect that decision that they made but the fact that they're doing it to self-promote themselves is just it's it's a little sickening at the same time but i'm just letting you know it's not going to work just because you said you donated money isn't going to drag people to play your game people need to enjoy the game to play it you know, they're not going to come back to the game if it's nothing new into it that they're going to enjoy. I'm telling you, solos and duos has to be put into this game in order for it to succeed. If this isn't added into the game, I really can't see this game lasting too much longer. Sad to say, it's really sad to say, but I just can't see it lasting longer. Because people at times, and even people who play with their friends 24-7 on Apex Legends, there are some days where your friends will not be online, and you will have to play by yourself, and at that point, what are you going to do? 
Who, what you gonna do? Play with the random still? No. They'll find another game to play where they can play solo. So trust me, if you really want this game to thrive, please just add this playlist into the game mode already. And here's a little something something. If you're so scared about the heroes and everything like that being overpowered, then just make it like a bare bones playlist like in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Remove all the specialist abilities, just let us pick whichever hero that we want just for skins, nothing that's hero related, only for the, you know, the skin that you have on that character and then the game mode will literally be based on gun skill if you are that worried if you're that freaked out for some stupid reason that the heroes are going to affect how your solos and duos game mode plays I, I don't know why the hell would you think that but if you really think that's that big of an issue then just remove the heroes from the game don't give us any special abilities if you do that then yeah then it'll work perfectly fine as well but i don't really think you need to do that honestly to make a solos game mode but hey i'm just throwing it in the air there I'm just throwing it up maybe that will make them want to make solos quicker if they just remove it out but as always, I'm very curious on what you all think about the topic today. Make sure that you leave it down in the comment section on how you feel about this game. Are you still playing Apex Legends? Have you been burnt out already on Apex Legends? And if you're burnt out, why are you burnt out? Is it because of the solos reason or is it just the lack of content, the game's getting boring for you? I'm very curious to know. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like. If you hated it, make sure you dislike this video. Also, if you enjoyed what you saw today and if you want to see some more, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification button. Because make sure you hit that bell notification button, you know what I'm saying? Because that will get you notified on all my recent uploads as well. And if you just want to chat with me in general, you can always find me on Twitter, at JBoneDemand. And if you want to catch me streaming, you can find me on Twitch, at JBoneDemand as well. Thank you all for checking out this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.